thanks for staying with us. We found musicians all over the country who are doing good things for their community. And this group in Maryland is popping up all over Baltimore trying to help. Cheyenne Zadia has something to tell you. Spread the message, which is really to spread love. To seek self and to spread community, really, and just to let people know that, like, we here, we all we got, we in this together. Deep in my heart, down in my soul, I... Touring East and West Baltimore, a full band pops up and performs in front of some of the 18,000 vacant properties in Baltimore City. That's 18,000 stories untold. Um, and I wanted to just kind of reflect on that while also telling my story, sharing my story. Her story started in West Baltimore, surrounded by vacant properties. The lyrics she writes are centered around changing the conditions that create these pictures. It's not where we are, it's not what we lack. It's about community, it's about um, fellowship, it's about us coming together because uh, we don't have anyone to save us. On Sunday, the Vacants Tour took over six corners in East Baltimore. Monument and Milton Street, and we went to Bella and Urban. The rhythm and heart flowed through the rain. It was easy to dance in the rain, you know. Um, I was sliding and whatnot. It was fun. Al Rogers Jr.'s first love was music. He uses his influence to help people through a free clothing swap, feeding off of the energy of people that he entertains. When you think about it, black people have been performing in the streets since before the doo-wop era. Like, so taking it back to the streets and not waiting for the venues to open back up or for somebody to for somebody to tell you when when to do something, it feel good. Mama can't save you, boy. Hoping people invest in their music and their message. I would like for them to buy a vacant home or like think about investing in those vacant homes. Thinking about think about investing in the community. Think about investing in Baltimore. In a time of civil unrest and a pandemic, a chance to listen and grow. We're ending with a little holiday surprise. It's good to know.